let's talk about it. Um, we had probably about 15 or 20 minutes of footage, I think, from Resident yep. Evil 4 Remake uh, to watch. Uh, it's Under some stuff that we've kind of seen. Uh, well, we, we've definitely seen it when the game first came out many, many years ago. This is the, the new remake version. Uh, but they showed some of the stuff that we got to see as part of the PlayStation State of Play uh, a couple weeks ago by the time you're listening to this. What are you? What are your big takeaways? To me, Ben, it still feels like what I was saying about Dead Space. It's like it looks the same as I think it does, but I'm sure if I went back and looked at you know the old GameCube RE4, it would look a lot dated and muddier and older. But it looks like the game I think it should. Yeah, it's exactly the same, which is what that was basically what we said about Metroid Prime Remastered. It's how you think it looks. Uh, so I mean, watching watching so we're seeing someone play the game. It's not a cinematic trailer. It's actual gameplay. Um, and so the video that you may be able to watch by the time you're hearing this is yep. uh, kind of Leon Kennedy walking up to, I guess, some of the villages, and they have that if you were poor as any before. Uh, big tentacle thing, guys, that when you shoot them in the head, that explodes and they kind of come at you. Uh, they look a little bit more intense than, I think, the original Resident Evil 4, so certainly some changes there to how the, the enemies move. Um, but how Leon moves looks exactly the same to me. So besides the fact that he can move and shoot at the same time, but it's still uh, it's a very slow move and shoot, it's not like you have full mobility. He yeah. still looks kind of tanky, a bit um, kind of a lack of mobility, but that's part of the game. Like You're always meant to be a bit like that. That's how the villagers move as well. Uh, and it kind of there was always that kind of linear path and that um, invisible wall style thing that kind of funneled you along the way, and it, it looks to have retained that. So I'm sure it is probably a little bit more fluid and more open than the original was, but as you say, it looks in, not just in looks. Those other games we just spoken about kind of looks uh, how we remembered, but they were totally different. I think this looks like it kind of plays as it did originally as well, and I'm, I'm sure that's not really the case. It looks like I, how I remember it being played. Yeah, well, it's that weird, annoying thing of like, watching someone else play a game like one you you want to do things that the person controlling it isn't doing but they're also doing that you know like i'm a developer showing you my game so leon's walking at a crawl and they're like panning the camera yeah. left and right being like "Ooh, look at what we've done where i feel like it's gonna it's gonna feel faster because you're not going to be doing that as the player you're gonna be holding the run button for most of the time and then like going around um i, I think you're right about like animations and stuff and those the, the the Ganados with the just the head tentacle thing. When they do the little like swipe across like horizontally, that looked exactly the same. As I I feel it does in the GameCube and ports of, of RE4. Um, the biggest in terms of like the, the gameplay or the, the general gameplay loop, there's a, a chain a couple changes. The first is to Leon's knife. It's it's uh, durable, so you're going to have to go through uh, and find extra knives and use them if, if you want to have that as part of your arsenal. To the point where, in the bottom right corner of the screen, there's like you know your health green circle, oh, nice. which will expand. Oh, there's a little knife one there too. And you, yeah, you see that when he's fighting. So some of the footage is the boss fight against uh, Krauser, and you kind of see that that degrading. It's a knife on knife battle, and yeah, that wasn't like that in the, the original game. So. No. And but it, there's a lot going looked, on with that knife. You can deflect it, yeah. like pretty much any enemy attack, um, and it's like these big sparks and like all these animations happening, um, and that can open up for you know to get yourself some space, or you can you know shoot someone in the leg and do a melee thing like you were doing. The suplexes are I back still, or not back, the stuff. return. Um, so and so people have been saying even from the state of play Welcome. stuff, it looks more like an RE6 kind of style of a combo of melee and, and shooting. I hope it doesn't go to that extent because I had a lot of yeah. problem with RE6. But um, well, I I'm going to assume you will. There will be more melee, like more of that knife combat because they've added these mechanics in. And I don't recall using the knife much in Resident Evil 4. Like I used it to open crates to save ammo. A lot of time is spent holding down like L and whatever you need to do to to open something. Um, but that was about it, like, not a lot in combat, because it wasn't great. So, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I, I would do the cheeky, more. like, shoot an enemy when it's on the ground, swipe it four or five oh, times to save ammo. Yeah, maybe that. Um, well, uh, so we we saw three main parts, I guess. And if you're watching the video, or you can go and watch the video, you can probably see what's going on. There's the the underground kind of like cave with water bit that was right after El Gigante, the, the giant guy, or one of the giant guys. Yeah. There's the the castle with the catapults and like the crazy fireballs, um, and I guess part of that was the the weird dude in the 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 cell that had his you know he was all bound. 
and you had to like ring bells to get distracted him to get his thing on his back. Um, and a knife fight with Krauser. Not the knife fight with Krauser that you may be thinking, the one on top of like the the tower that you actually got to do. Let's go. The knife fight that we saw was the one that used to be a cutscene in the old game, and now it's playable. So they've taken the cutscene with the one or two quick time events, and it's literally just a playable sequence where you have to, you know, hold your knife, attack, defend, hit cuts or quick times. You know, like once you've staggered him to do something or you know to evade an attack. It looks cool. What, what did what did you think about that? I guess specifically, if, okay. if we're talking about crowds. Uh, yeah, I think it looks better than it. it used to uh certainly the quick time stuff in resident evil 4 is its downfall like if you play that again now if that's what feels super dated and so i think yeah maybe they've got a better way of doing that potentially we didn't see anything like the i always think resident evil 4 that dodgy run when it's kind of like the boulders are coming after you and it's like right. and that was the first time i died when i played it the first time because i think i put the controller down and i can still remember that uh, that might still be in the game we didn't see it yeah, the thing which is remote. sticking out to me, having looked at it quickly now, is uh, Leon's hair is How unbelievably shiny, and I can't see it. Like I'd call it luxurious, actually, personally. Um, I have no maybe qualms. it's just such <laughs> such modern lighting or something, but uh, boy, that's a shiny style. Uh, same voice actor from RE2, from what I can discern. I'm sure that's even true. I could have looked it up. Um, the voice actress, or va voice actor, I should say, playing um, Ashley sounds like Ashley, but like is obviously different, but I don't mind um, the very few lines heard. Uh, the Merchant, who we did see as well, right. same Aussie accent, but doesn't wow. sound doesn't sound the same. That's, that one's I'm a little bit upset about. One of the most iconic voices in all the video games are made. They haven't got the same guy back. It's, that's well, we can just mute it when he's there and just do it ourselves. What are you boy? And you know, see it. Yeah, there you go. I love him. He's great. Still. Yeah. <laughs> and the other, I guess, the other change while we're still on this like eight-minute you know sprint is that uh, Ashley is is not as spongy, I guess, as she used to be. Um, and in the in the footage we've seen her, you know, like take a hit from a uh, a catapult and not die, but just get down. You just got to go and like pick her back up. Um, she gets carried away by some. Uh, Ganados, and you just, you know, shoot him like you do normally and pick her back up. It looks like less of an annoying escort mission kind of situation, but of course, you know, we haven't played it, so we're not sure yet. I don't know, the fact that they're still doing that, pick her up and walk away with her, that was the most annoying part of all of it, and that's still definitely in the game. We've seen it, so... <laughs> Yeah, maybe they've toned it down a little bit, maybe they've made her a little bit less of a liability, but I still feel... I mean, it's part of the game, like, they're remaking this way more faithfully and true to the original than Resident Evil 2 and 3, because they were total different generational remakes. Resident Evil 4 introduced the style of Resident Evil, this over-the-shoulder style, which we're still playing today. It's kept, basically, its same style. Slightly modernised, uh, but it's still the same game, so it's, it's had to stay closer to the original, and I think that's the big thing here. 